What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, RobotPanda15, here, bringing you another Valkyria Chronicles episode. And today, we're actually going to do the battle that we said we were going to do last episode. So let's hop right on into that battle now. Let's get it. Here are details on the current operation. Captain Marat here, thinking that she's going to be giving us the details. No, 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 no. That's, that's Commander Lake in here for you, doing that. <clears throat> the Imperial Force is deployed in a defensive formation around a camp within Vassal's urban center. You will assign your squad positions split between a city team and a riverside team. The city team will protect the base camp while the riverside team strikes the enemy. Your objective is to occupy the enemy's camp. Defeat the enemy units defending the camp, then get to the flag hung above their camp to occupy it. Beginning with this operation, you will be responsible for assigning your soldiers to their combat positions. Before commencing the operation, choose the position units command com pos choose the position units command to view a list of deployable units. Then, once you've selected a unit you'd like to deploy, choose the position you wish for them you wish them to take. Intelligence reports say they have tanks stationed in the city area there. I would, it would behoove you to include an anti-tank unit on the city team to facilitate its neutralization. I would also recommend you add units with high AP, such as scouts and engineers, to your Riverside Strike Force. Once you've got, enough, once you've got your teams in place, select the Deploy command to begin the operation. Now it's time to get those soldiers of yours into position. Alright, win condition, enemy base camp is captured, lose condition, enemy occupies Gallia's base camp, all ally soldiers and reserves are killed, Welkin dies, or 20 turns pass. Alright, let's get some units on the field here. So we got Welkin, Alicia, and Rosie set up on this formation. Um, let's see. I am going to get my engineer on point for that one let's get Dallas because she works well with Alicia ooh but I would kind of want a sniper for that team now that I think about it ooh she got a nest master as one of her new potentials that's kind of nice actually but unfortunately I don't think we're going to have a sniper for this at, at all But let's get some more units in place here. I'm going to bring up... Hmm... We have Largo, so I'm going to bring Jan. Another AT unit for that one. And we're going to kind of dig in here more. So I'm going to bring plenty of shock troopers. Uh, let's bring Hans and Jane. And then I'll bring an engineer as well to supply ammo for our troops. And that'll help out a lot as well. So there we go. That's that squad all set up. Nine members in total deployed for this operation. So let's go ahead and deploy. We're prepared to commence the operation. I look forward to good news from you. And you'll get nothing but it, Captain Barat. So let's get it. Split into two teams, offensive and defensive. Squad seven, move out. Look at that baller tank right there. Now I believe there's two or three tanks in this in this section. All right, it's our first mission. Let's split into two teams, city and riverside. I'll lead the riverside team towards the enemy encampment with the Edelweiss. Shock trooper here. Lead the offense to me. City team, your job is to guard the base. Be ready for anything, including tanks. How long you think I've been an anti-tank man? A couple of tanks ain't no sweat. That's a spirit, Largo. Now, let's move out! Listen closely. This information could save your life. Alright, so camps fo found around the battlefield grant your forces a number of advantages. Uh, they gain a HP boost at the restart of each turn. Uh, tanks will also gain an HP boost, which is nice. Uh, Weapons are replenished, but uh, you cannot occupy the camp until enemy units are defeated. 
so let's go ahead and get this all started. You can kind of see how this game would work if it if they added a multiplayer function to it, which, believe me, I wish they would have, but I understand why they didn't. Um, Vanguard Force pushing up here. We're going to bring up Rosie here. And it's just now telling us about the long grass here, so we're actually going to have her prone in the grass here. Please head for the objective. And she's going to sneak around the backside here, going to nade on that sandbag. Try to stay out of their range. And look at just the, the little damage getting dealt here by these guys. I have to get a little closer. We can't allow them to reclaim their camp. So I want to get that grenade right on this guy. Kaboom! <laughs> Alright, shock troopers pushed up in position. Uh, let's get the tank rolling up online here. I'm going to try to save that sandbag on the right there in case we need to fall back. Get them from the side! Let's get the LMG going here. There we go. Take that guy out nicely. Who are these guys? And then we'll push the tank up just a little bit here. I want to make sure I'm still in a defensive blocking formation for my infantry. Don't want to turn the backside too much in case AT pops up on us. But that should do right there. Right, let's push okay. our scout and engineer up to the next set of cover. Enemy sighted. Oh, in the grass. <laughs> My leg. They got him. That grenade should roll onto him and put him out of cover. No? Okay. That's cool. All right, now we're gonna push Dallas up as well. Right away. Woo. Take this. Damn, Alicia didn't shoot that time. That's a little upsetting. All right, so that's our Riverside team, our offensive formation set up here. Let's get this defensive formation set up now. Um, you? Sure. <laughs> That's why Jan is a fabulous bastard. I'm, I'm going to get one MG on each side, basically. Just watch this. And let's see. Position both these guys right around here, so. Now, Anti-tank rockets don't do any area of effect damage, which is really stupid. But it makes sense why they have it in this game like that. Um, yeah, we'll position the MG. Just try to stop me. There we go. Our scouts kind of, or our engineers kind of exposed down there, but we should be okay. Get in the range. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you're gonna get lit the fuck up. There it is. Now that douche is going to sit in there for the longest time. Yeah, you're not going to get very far. <laughs> and that's a command point drained. Did they tell us now about leader units, so they should have told us on that chapter where we killed the leader unit. They, they have a really weird way about going about that. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I explained that last episode, I believe, the CP for the leader units. So he's gonna shoot at Alicia and not hit any shots, nice. And I'm not gonna hit any either, because there's a sandbag in the way. All right, so let's get going here. And we have orders, I don't use them very often, but uh, they can be useful in some scenarios. So now we're going to affix our engineer up a little more, and I'm actually going to adjust this line now, now that I'm looking at it. So now I can bring back Jin for now, and I can swap this line up for Hans. Now I'm going to move Largo. I didn't micromanage these guys enough last time. So there we go. And now Jane, I can push closer towards Hans so they can get that supporting element. Alright, there we go. That's all set up down there. Now I'm going to use Dallas here to get the kill on this guy. Take this. Never mind. Dallas can't get the kill for some reason. So then, let's use the Edelweiss for that then. I'm just going to drop a fucking mortar on his fucking head. You're dead. And uh, that's one way you can deal with that kind of bullshit. But now we're going to push up the tank some more. That should be good. That way so I can bring our scouts up later. And we're going to bring Rosie into the grass on the right side here. Or onto the right side here. Push up with Edelweiss. There we go. And we'll save that last CP point. And they just busted a tank through a wall. God, damn tanks busted right through the sticking wall. Well, it's my turn now. Stick this in your pipe. Stay sharp. Tanks can break through crumbling walls and trample down sandbags and trees. Hopefully he doesn't pop a mortar. He's popping a mortar on us. Damn, we gotta take out that tank ASAP. Ooh, he got a headshot. But that should light him up, and he should be dead. So I'm going to try to push my shock troopers down that left lane. That's why I situated them over there on that left side. And they're going to have a lot of CP that they can use. Alright. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. That kind of bullshit. So let's rock and roll here. That tank is obviously the biggest threat, so we're going to get 7-2 on deck here to deal with that mofo. Three shots to kill. Let's make it count. There's one in. Now the side armor, I believe, should be just watch this. Should be weak. So let's go for that side armor. No, nope, it's not. There we go. And we just need to get one more rocket in on there. Let's do so. Get a little closer here. And there we go. That's the tank down. Sorry, honey. Now we're gonna resupply our uh, troops there a little bit with Dalit or with Ramsey. Ramsey's on this side. That's right. And there you go. He's resupplied on ammo. 
Those guys are resupplied. He's resupplied. And we're going to scout up a little bit. Woo! Yep, there's a lot of dudes up there. And now we know they're all up there. So we're going to hold Ramsey there for now. And we're going to push up Hans. And Jane. Get them on station. Hold on. Heal up Ramsey here. Oh, hey. Nice. Okay, we gotta end that turn quickly. And we next turn, I'm gonna push them up to the sandbags now, so we're gonna spend two AP on them. There we go. We pushed up a little bit. Now we're gonna push Jane up there as well to provide some support. Got a pretty effective uh, base of fire set up there. Now this side we gotta attend to, so let's get Dallas and Alicia put up on this side here. We're gonna have them hug this left wall. Alright, yep, we spotted that light tank over there. I don't think it saw us, but now we can see pretty much everything they have there. So let's push up Alicia now, and then we'll push Rosie up as well. Welcome to the battlefield. Good luck. Now Alicia, we're gonna get her up on this, be sure to check your ammunition and she's gonna light up this shock trooper. We go. Now we have superior positioning for grenades and anything else we choose to uh, do on this rooftop there. Alright, last but not least, we're going to push up Rosie onto that alleyway. And then we'll have Edelweiss destroy the tank. And then we'll push our infantry in. This guy up. He's gone. Oh! Shit. Okay. I see that's how we play this game now. We just destroy the sandbags. Alright then. Uh, we need to get Elvis on station ASAP here. Let's do so. There we go, got one shot on that tank. Now we'll deal with the supporting infantry. That engineer will take priority. So let's get Alicia on that. Ooh, he's dug in, so we're actually gonna hit him with this grenade real quick like. And then we'll get Dallas on the roof as well to provide extra gun support on there. Man down, everybody. Leave it to me. Uh, Rosie will have take out. Actually, yeah, this should work. There we go. Because then Dallas can sprint out to the Edelweiss if she needs to. Let's push up with Rosie, have her climb the ladder up here, and basically we're just, I mean we could rain nades down there, but this should be easier. There we go. <laughs> Alright, now on this side here, we did lose our sandbag cover. So now we kind of have to push up a little more. And you know what? We're going to be super aggressive here. Push up and shoot this guy right in the face. 
use the shock troopers uh better defenses for that am i gonna be able to get up to that sandbag oh no i'm not i'll have to, I'll have to burn another turn on him Empire. all right so we got him set up on those sandbags um we got that tank being pinched right now so now we'll get jane try to get her up online with him And we'll try to get some shots in on this guy. Uh, he's super weak. He'll heal next turn, though, because of the uh, him being standing on a command post like that. All right. Our Lancer... Uh, our Lancers are, are going to stay at the base for now. We'll leave them at the base. But we will push up Dallas... Or Ramsey, I mean, over here. Because she can help get some support by fire on that shock trooper right there. Ooh, she lives. There we go. That's another CP down. Man down. Everybody be careful. All right, we've, we're doing well so far. We haven't lost anyone. We're doing okay. That's all right. We took out their engineer, and our engineer is still up, ready to rumble. All right, first things first, the tank. It doesn't matter as much. All we have to do is really kill that shock trooper, but the tank does matter to me. Because it'll help me do a flawless on this one. So we're actually burning another CP here. Take out that tank. There we go. Enemy armor down. Now this is where I would like to have a sniper. Uh, so one thing I could do is uh, retreat Jan here and pick up Marina. And have Marina snipe down this lane and hit this shock trooper. But I don't think I'll need to do that, so I'll just use Alicia here and pick off this, pick off the guy down here. Ooh, I did two of them. All right. Um, we'll use Hans. See what he can do. Sixty-six shots to kill. Come on, man. Push him up online, then. Now what we can do, once he's pushed up on there, is Hans can capture the objective for us. So we'll have him do that. And there you have it, Occupy. Boom! First battle completed. Operation complete. We took their base. C rank uh, means we could have completed that way quicker if we would have pushed our units up more and wouldn't have worried about the tank and all that. But, you know, whatever. I, I did everything I thought was in my power to eliminate all possible enemies and get my units out safely. New episode has been added. You guys aren't with Squad 7 by any chance, are you? Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, Hot Stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's me. Oh, daisy What? <sighs> hey, you can't... Ah, oh, nice to meet you, too. Now, let's get right to the questions. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the uh, hardest experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. 
I was about Excuse to say. Me? But what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story, a good story, and you guys are it. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good, I'm a reporter, yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews, thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. Combat reporters are gonna do what combat reporters wanna do. Alright. Next episode. Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please, he's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. Ah, whatever, he'll learn soon enough. And this is, it's not as prevalent as what people make it out to be like this makes it out to be but this is kind of a thing that does happen in the actual military only one thing matters out there in the field and that's experience and right there he said it himself experience matters most so when all the senior enlisted enlisted NCOs see this new big uh, kid come in as the second lieutenant of their of their company or of their platoon, they're not too happy about it. Chapter 4, Operation Cloudburst. Alright, and we will save this chapter for another day. However, we are going to go through and we are going to check out all the personnel, weaponry, and glossaries. Because the one thing I love about this game... Oh god, everything. Yes, yes, yes. You just told us all that was updated. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we're gonna go in here to the personnel. This is basically your wiki. We have pers we have uh, dossiers on every single character that we've met so far. And then some. So yeah, every character that we meet... Uh, I, I can talk about this all later. We can run through this stuff later as well, kind of as side stuff, like I'm going to do with the skirmishes that we have here. So we have skirmishes here that we can choose to do. However, I won't do those unless I feel that we need them, kind of like almost grinding montages. I'll probably do one uh, before the next ba before the next uh, chapter battle, so that'll help out. But yeah, you got so much info here. You got info on all the weaponry, info on all the characters. And you have just a general glo glossary that kind of shows you like the use of Ragnite here, which is really cool. It sh tell it teaches you everything about what they use, how this, how the technology that they have in the war is what it's there for, and what it is. So it's very nice to have. Uh, but real quick, we are going to go to headquarters, and we are going to check up on some stuff here because the War Cemetery and Castle Front Street. These are two new things that we have. So we're going to check them both out. Hey, Lieutenant! Off duty today? Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. Ta-da! It's the writing on the wall. Written and published by yours truly. Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? Sure. I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government censors everything. And not just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy sweet propaganda. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. So, this is my brilliant plan. The writing on the wall. Some things are only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this, out of sight from those government goons. I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. And your exploits will feature heavily, I'm sure. So yeah, come by and have a read sometime. 
So yeah, she kind of does a uh, thing where she does the actual truths of the warfare. So I'm going to kind of let you guys pause this, read through it if you want. But I'm going to take a moment here and I'll let you guys pause it. So yeah, that's the writing on the wall there. You read them, and then um, and right here, here she does this for you. I want to put a book out someday, right? To put the truth in the hands of the people. But I'm just a radio news grunt, you know? I'll be paying for everything out of my own pocket. So, I figured I'd ask you. Think you could find it in your wallet's heart to help a girl get started? I'd make it worth your while. You guys could feature in the book I write. I still haven't decided what all I want to put in it, but I promise it'll be all about you. See this fat stack of notes? I've got a ton of material already. So how about it? Call it an investment in the future rising star of authordom. Please. And then uh, right here you can get little pieces on the squad members trying to get some backstory and I love backstory in video games <laughs> Thanks a million. because it just shows how much more in-depth they went with creating their game and that they actually care about their game not as much not they don't care about they, they care so much about their game that they want to explain why they went about creating certain characters and giving backstory I things. plan on putting awesome. out new additions periodically so drop by to check it out often Especially after you've made some headlines on the battlefield. That's the perfect time to strike. I'm counting on you out there, Welkin. You need to keep me supplied with exciting material. Uh, that we will. Paying your respects? Sorry. I suppose that was a foolish question. And this is right here is my f favorite part of the game. I don't know why. It has something to do with the music. Something to do with the aged gentleman. And just everything about it in this part is just so soothing and sobering. It's, it's beautiful. Actually, no, sir. I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. No. Then might I ask, what brings you to a place like this? I find it sobering, standing here in front of all those who died in the last war. That, and seeing this much death, reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Don't suppose I've ever heard that before. Judging from your clothes, your militia. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Gunther. I see, I see. Squad leader, hmm. Very impressive for a young man. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. One wrong order from me and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. You respect the weight of their lives. Here, let me teach you a special order. An order, sir? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? <laughs> Just a leftover from the last war. I'm afraid my orders require some experience, though. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity to use them properly. Now, let's see. I'll teach you retreat today. Use it to command an injured unit to pull out of combat. Well, what is your decision? 
So yeah, this guy is really nice because he teaches you uh, special orders that can be really, really effective on the battlefield. So it will cost 6,500 experience in order to learn retreat. I do not have that at the moment. Uh, if I do my skirmish, however, I would probably get that easily. So for Let's now, see. we will. I suppose it was too soon. Not, we'll have to decline that, but I hope he we'll will again. give us that next time we talk. Should to him. you wish, you can likely find me here. Whoever they got for his voice actor is amazing. I love that voice actor. So we're gonna go to the R&D facility, grab, scoop up some stuff here. Well, kid. And we are going to see if we have any more upgrades we can buy. Doesn't look like it though. Nope, looks like we got everything. Do we have anything for Edelweiss that we can get? Aha, we do. We can get some more body HP, trade HP, and defenses here. So let's do that. All set for you, bro. It's done. There we go. Um, we can hold off on that and everything else there. That should be good. Uh, so it looks like we're done there. Let's get out of that. Come back again soon, bro. I mean it, man. Let's go to the training field. Get some of this XP burned off. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots! Trent. And we're gonna throw some of this into our shock troopers, our scouts, and our snipers. And we'll do another one in our engineers, just so we can buff them up a little bit. Lancers can wait. You're better than this. Push those limits. There we go. Good. Looks like that new so we unlocked a new scouts. potential for the scouts. That's nice. Looks like that a new potential out of the shock and our shock troopers. Very nice. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. Defense boost order. Ooh, nice. That'll help us out when our when we got to push somebody into a zone by themselves. All right, command room. Do we have any more members? Hello, Welkin. Here to fine tune your squad. Oh, and there have been some new recruits. Those words are music to my ears. New recruits, because we do need some new ones. Yes! We got Ted and Melville. Yes! All right, let's go get these fools on the squad. Uh, Juno, you're actually going to be off I'm the squad for now. I'm sorry. You didn't get any action. So we have Aika there. Um, Jane, you can go off. Hans, you can go off. Because my dream team is about to be built right now. We got Melville, we got Ted. Hey, I'm Melville Young. I'll do my best, man. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this happy motherfucker. He's awesome. The reason why Ted is so awesome is because he likes Melville, Nancy, and Cherry. And we have Cherry, we have Melville. He also fancies men and women, so he can be around literally any unit and he'll be perfectly fine. The only unit he can't really be around is. Da 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 da, Welkin. But because he's a scout, he won't be spending much time Thank around. You. Hello, I'm Ted Usinov, and I've got some great new material for you. Yes, Ted. All right. Now the reason Ted and Melville are such a good squad is because Ted links to Melville. Melville links to Alex, who we don't have yet. But Alex links to Vice. Vice links to Aika, and Aika links to Dallas. Who links with Edie, who we still have in the squad? Yes, we do. Who links with Edie? You can see where I'm going with that. It's a very powerful duo. Lots of, uh... What's the term I'm looking for? Are those the only new recruits? Yes, they were. Damn it. So we don't have Alex yet still, but once we get him, we will be set. And I still have an open slot, so let's grab... Um... Ooh, 
let's grab da, 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 da. hmm all right Judah you can come back onto the squad you know Corin reporting for duty looks like I'll be joining you in squad seven there we go so that should be good for the squad for now. Basically, we're we're missing Alex. It's the only link we're missing here before we build our awesome squad. Uh, let's take a look at the barracks real quick, and we can go into the potentials that we have for all our units. So Alicia here has country bread and Dutch bull shot and maternal. So when any of her close friends are nearby, the desire to protect them drives all of her abilities up. Uh, so you have potentials and boosts. Uh, boosts trigger whenever, as do potentials, but boosts have less of a chance to trigger, I believe, is what it is. I can't remember exactly. Alright. Ooh, yes. Melville has Trooper Killer as well. I didn't see that on there. There we go. Uh, this is an issue, though, is Chatty Cathy. So when he is around Ted, uh... He will not be when he is around Ted and Alex. He will not be as accurate, which does kind of hinder him. But the volume of fire that you'll put out with Ted, Melville, Alex, Vice, all those guys will really make, will really counteract that uh, downside of Chatty Cathy. Ooh, he has a dodgeball shot as well, which is nice. So we have Nancy. That's nice. Nancy links with Ted as well, so that's another link we have. And if we picked up Motley, we would have even more links. We have Susie sitting here. She's got sighting, which is really good. Accuracy is proved after sighting an enemy. That'll trigger sometimes too. Stealth is awesome. Uh, we have Cherry here. There we go. Stealth on Cherry. Ika has stealth as well. Very nice. Uh, Rosie has undercover fire, so the, her attack power is boosted when crouching. I like that. First aid boost on Vice. That's why I healed so much with the Ragnade when I used it on Ramsey earlier. But now we have a very scout heavy roster, but I typically use my scouts a lot. Like I said, my scouts are, are my main force. They go in, they they hit the enemy and then they come back out and join up with the main force so that's why I like the scouts a lot but yeah that's that's a lot of really good editing that we did not editing that's a lot of really good yeah technically editing yeah a new report has been added so the report report out embedded we'll check this out later in the next episode so we'll save on this tab here uh thank you guys for stopping by and watching the video Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and always leave a comment. I try to read any and all comments that I possibly can, and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can as well. Either way, Panda.